Hi, welcome to Navigate Tuesday Tip. Vicki Bell here. Today's tip will be about emergencies and disasters. Our local meteorologists have told us that March is a severe weather month. Also in our area, in our immediate community, we've had six fires since the beginning of the year. Now HUD has in the 4350.1 an emergency disaster plan for multifamily houses. However, that plan is for the presidentially declared disasters. What are you going to do if it's not an emergency declared disaster, but it is an emergency and it displaces your residents? Let's talk about that. Read your company's disaster plan and be familiar with what it says. Have an emergency evacuation plan. Discuss with the staff who will be in charge of what and what emergencies they will handle. In the event of a situation, contact first of all your local HUD office and also call your contract administrator and let them be aware and make them aware of the emergency or the disaster that you're having. Inform residents at least annually about safety information and updates. Let them know that their responsibilities will be A, B, C. Have property fire drills. Know your evacuation plans. Have your residents to know where their exits are. If your building is a high-rise building, there are a couple of things that you should do. Number one, you should contact the closest fire department and make sure that their ladder will reach the top floor of that building. Know your company's relocation plan. If your residents have to be displaced, have emergency contact information for them. Know ahead of time where you might place them. Get in touch with the American Red Cross. Have that number handy. Also, have a list of your disabled residents, especially those that will need assistance if a disaster or an emergency arise. Make sure that during your move-in and your annual recertifications that you talk to your residents about the importance of renter's insurance because your building will be covered, but their contents will not. Be sure to get contact information for your, from your residents so know how you can contact them when it's time for them to move back in. These are our Tuesday tips for today and we hope that they'll be helpful to you and we hope that you don't have to use them, but we want you to be prepared in case you do. Thank you. See you next Tuesday.